Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Tahir from Family Pediatrics in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about different kinds of baby bottles. If you have looked at baby bottles recently, you might have noticed there are so many of them, it's hard to even decide what to do. So I'm going to talk to you about one important characteristic of a bottle uh, which will affect your child. And that, that characteristic is about how much uh, bubbles uh, get made in the bottle as your baby is drinking. You see what happens is as your child is drinking, there's a vacuum that gets created inside the bottle and that vacuum has to equalize this bottle is a normal, typical bottle uh, and is the least expensive of all the different bottles. It doesn't have any kind of equalizing mechanism. Those are called vents. Each of these other bottles are vented. This one is not vented. Um, and so I'm going to show you how the non-vented bottle is compared to the different kinds of vented bottles that are available too. This one right here is the Avent one, which says on here um, it, that it helps with uh, colic and has a vent. It shows a little picture of how the air flows back into the bottle as your baby is drinking. This one is a uh, Tommy Tippy. This also has a vent mechanism built in, which allows the air to enter back into the liquid as your baby is drinking. Now this is the Playtex Vent Air. And this is a little different. It has a vent on the back. So as your child is drinking, the air is equalizing from the back, which I like because the air is not flowing through the, the milk itself. And uh, this is a Dr. Brown's uh, bottle. This has a different mechanism for air where the air equalizes by going to the very top or rather the bottom of the bottle here as your child is drinking. So it never passes through the milk. The air not passing through the milk is important because as air passes through the milk, it creates little bubbles in there. And what I have in these bottles is a little soapy solution. It's uh, water with blue dye and some soap in there to uh, help you show the bubbles. And then we'll also be able to compare and see which one makes the most bubbles, okay? Now, you guys will not get to see me drinking from the bottles. What I'll be doing is I'll be using a plastic tube and I will put this onto the nipple of the bottle and then suction with the other side. This way I'm not drinking any of the soapy solution either, okay? So to begin with, we'll first start off with the normal bottle. With this bottle, this is the most unnatural type of bottle to use because your baby has to break suction um, so that they can keep drinking. Otherwise, the suction in here gets quite strong and your baby won't be able to swallow milk um, as they keep drinking. Okay, this right here is the normal bottle and I'm going to do 50 suctions basically. After 10, it gets a little difficult, and you notice how all the air bubbles go back in to equalize the pressure. Fifty. You see, this is fifty right here, and you notice how much uh, foamier it got at the top. That's because the air is entering through the nipple and equalizing the pressure. Um, these air bubbles don't act the same way in milk. Uh, in milk you'll get more micro bubbles also and they'll be dissolved in the milk. So as your baby is drinking the milk, they'll get the air back inside their tummy, causing the many problems that air bubbles can, cost, uh, can cause. Okay, this right here is the Avent bottle, okay? So I took 15 gulps and uh, you might have been able to see that there was some air entering. It was closer to, uh, to me, so you might not see it on the back side. That's 50. So this is Avent uh, 50. So you can see the foam that built up on top here so we can compare with the other ones, okay? All right, let's move on. Here's a Tommy Tippy bottle and we'll try this one now. This one works really, really well. Um, it doesn't create uh, very much suction as did the other ones. And so there are air bubbles that are going through from this one vent that's over here back into the bottle. That's 50. So 
This is pretty good. The suctioning characteristic is very different in this. It doesn't allow too much of a vacuum to build, so there isn't too much pressure drinking from this bottle. And a uh, little bit of foam, but not too bad. So this is pretty nice. This is really nice. This is a Playtex bottle. This has a vent on the back. So to wash the vent, you would unscrew the back and wash it. But the idea with this is that the vent isn't happening from the front, which is really nice because then air bubbles are not going through the milk. Here, the air is coming right from the back and it never really goes through the milk, which avoids making more uh, bubbles in the milk. So let's try and see what this does, all right? So this, when I let go, there was some suction that built in here. Uh, not too much liquid, not too much air went back into the bottle, but it is a little harder to suction, but obviously there's air coming through here. Fifty. That is pretty good. That's pretty neat. So the air is going through back over here, and uh, the only foam that's made is from some of the air bubbles going through here when I break the suction. So that it works out pretty well too. Let's take a look and see how much this uh, created as far as foam goes. There's virtually nothing at all. So this works very well. This right here is our Dr. Braun bottle and then we'll see how this acts. This is nice because it has a vent that lets the air go all the way to the very top there so it doesn't even go through the liquid part. That's 50. That is quite awesome, you guys. So this bottle uh, did not generate any bubbles at all either. So I hope you guys saw the difference between the different bottles. The worst bottle of all is the bottle without any vent. So don't get a bottle without any vent, okay? Those are the ones that will cost you the least. Uh, but it's an unnatural way of feeding, so don't use these. We tried then the bottles that have the vents, and the vents are near the nipple side of the bottle. That is your A-vent bottle right over here and also the um, uh, Tommy Tippy bottle. Uh, those bottles are better because they allow air to enter as your baby is drinking, so it doesn't make that much suction in the bottle. Uh, however, because the air bubbles are going through the liquid, it creates more bubbles in the liquid, all right? So then we tried another th uh, the other types of bottles which have a different vent system, um, which uh, allows the air to go into the bottle without going through the liquid, and that is your um, Dr. Brown's bottle. That worked very well. And also the uh, Playtex vent air bottle. That also worked very well too because the air is going right through the back here, which I really like. Now, remember you guys, babies and air bubbles don't mix. So try to get a bottle that will make less bubbles in the milk as your child is drinking. That may save you uh, a lot of difficulty and it may save your baby from a lot of discomfort and unhappiness. So uh, there is one more type of bottle that I will try, which I am very excited about, and those are bottles with a disposable liner. I believe those bottles are going to be the closest probably to breastfeeding, and uh, I'll get that soon and try that out also and compare it to some of the other bottles here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.